Hi, I'm Neil. I'm an educator, so I teach people how to solve the Rubik's Cube. I learned myself about five years ago when I was, uh, my son was going through a tough time at school, um, suffering with anxiety and uh, low self-esteem. Um, and one of the things that brought us together was the Rubik's Cube. We learned together how to solve it. And through each step that we learned, I could see that his confidence was getting better. He was coming more out of himself. And by the end of it, it was jumping around the room. And it's really powerful to be able to see that happen and show people how actually solving the cube can improve their self-esteem. So um, we started working with different people to be able to teach them how to solve the cube. We started off in care homes, teaching the elderly, they're worried about losing capacity. So keeping the mind active is really key for them. Um, so crosswords and so do good work. So we went next level and started teaching them how to solve the cube. And it was really powerful to see that they were coming together, the, the social element of it, it's such a, an iconic cube and everyone knows it um, and is warm towards the colours and want to be able to solve it. So we started teaching them and it was great and it was good to see that all those benefits I'd seen before were coming to fruition again. And then we started working with charities. So we worked with children's charities um, and with uh, deprived children, children with additional needs um, and started a programme. And now we're Rubik's brand ambassadors, Rubik's support our project. We love working with them. They're very kind to us, um, providing us with cubes and supporting the work that we're doing. The best part for me about teaching people how to solve a cube is that when they first start out, they think, they get confused. We all go through that. We always think, oh, we're not gonna be able to do this. And then bit by bit, you can see their confidence growing and understanding each part of the cube as they build it. And then when they get to the final part, and they do the final few moves and they get to that completed cube. It is the greatest smile on their face and very rewarding, no matter what their age. Um, and it is, it's really good to see. And that's the best part about teaching people how to solve a cube. Um, I'm a massive fan. I'm very fortunate that Rubik's provides us with the cubes. We get to be able to learn a whole range of cubes from the Edge, the Mini, the Original, the Master and the Professor, as well as the other products that are available. So we're really lucky that we get to, um, to teach people how to solve that um, and all of those. So once people start and they solve a three by three or the original cube, they're then on that Rubik's journey and they want to be able to, to move on and, and learn the other products. And it's, and it's great to see. And it's, it's quite an easy progression. Once you've learned that original cube, um, the other ones, you, you know the moves, you understand the algorithms and it's, they're easier to pick up. Still a challenge, but still fun. Uh, being an ambassador is a, is a privilege for me. I'm, I, as I said, I am a massive Rubik's fan and to be a brand ambassador and do what I do, I'm very fortunate. Um, it's great to be part of the Rubik's family um, and with the other ambassadors as well, they are super talented. They have some real good skills uh, and blow me away um, with what they create. Um, loads of people always say to me all the time, how quickly can you do a cube? Um, and speed's not important to me. Um, I can do one and I'm pleased that I can do one. Um, I can't do it more than 60 seconds. Most of the children that I teach, um, by the time they come to the end of the, the, the sessions, they can solve it quicker than I can. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just proud that I can do it. But it's, I think, I'm really interested in actually how the cube works and all the different parts and, and the different patterns that you can make and all the different things that you can do with it. So um, yeah, speed's not important, but um, some of the people that we work with are unbelievable. How quickly their hands move, how quickly they can do the cube, doing it blindfolded, um, all of those things. It's just, there's so much to a cube and so interesting.